also you had posted something this week um, as an extension of uh, yeah the Riley files. And again, uh, if anybody missed last week's um, live show here with with Matt, we dove into the fifth episode of the Riley files, which is a twelve part series that is offered. Uh, there you can see on Trojan's Wire, and I'll, I'll let Matt be more specific about where is the best and easiest way to find it. Uh, but uh, the, the next episode is looking into the recruiting uh, process and Lincoln Riley's um, efforts there. So can you provide us with a little bit more there, Matt? Well, we, you know, we reviewed Lincoln Riley's uh, recruiting track record in the most recent episode of the Riley Files, episode seven. Uh, we released it over the weekend. We put a little post on it today, Tuesday. Uh, but just our Oklahoma insider went through the swings and misses that Riley had, also the great successes that Riley had. And, you know, one of the, the insights, and we talked a little bit about this last week, but just for those who missed last week's show here in the Voice of College Football, we uh, went into the, the specific point that Lincoln Riley doesn't think about constructing rosters just in terms of positions, like I need this position and that position. He's looking at skill sets. He's looking at the skill set of an offensive lineman and wondering how that plays in uh, companion with the skill set of his quarterback, the skill set of his running backs. Lincoln Riley is, might assemble rosters that are different in terms of their overall complexion from one year to the next because he sees different skill sets at the various positions. So in other words, he's not thinking this is going to be my style of team that I'm going to have every year as though there's one style of play each year. No, he realizes that the, the specific recruits he gets in one class need to be paired with players with compatible skill sets. So again, he's not thinking about positions. He's thinking about skill sets. And this is also why he's using the transfer portal, because he can recruit a few players with a specific skill set. But then if he misses on the recruiting trail for companion players, compatible players with that the, the skill set that he wants to match with his incoming recruits. Well, the portal gives him a more fully formed player with a skill set that he can mix and match uh, a little bit better. So that's just part of the recruiting uh, analysis uh, that we explored uh, with, on episode seven of The Riley Files. And episode eight is actually going to be also about recruiting it's going to be less, though, about evaluating Lincoln Riley's recruiting performance at Oklahoma. It's going to be more about Lincoln Riley's uh, philosophy and like where he goes from here. Uh, so that that's going to be episode eight of the Riley Files. But yeah, our twelve part series rolls along, and you know we recorded all these episodes weeks ago, but we're slowly doling them out a few at a time. You don't get overloaded, uh, but we're continuing to drop them out. So like the the, the finished product. We'll, we'll release the 12th and final episode, you know, mid to late August, uh, just before the regular season starts. But that's that's the Riley Files, and we certainly hope that you'll go to Trojans Wire. Also, that you go to our Twitter account where we, you know, release just the direct audio file. You know, we, we put posts on them, but we also just release the direct uh, audio file from Omni Studios uh, on the Riley Files uh, at Trojans Wire. 